Oh, no, it's, no, it's my hands because I forgot to put my rings back on. <laughs> we've, been guard, we've been gardening at once. <laughs> you wear ring? I need to see your ring. Yeah, you I wear, usually, wear. usually wear a wedding ring and an engagement oh, ring. Oh, yeah. We've been so quiet in the morning. Oh, okay. And then afternoon, oh. so busy, yeah. Well, that was the thing. I booked in ages ago, like when I was here last time, yeah. because I knew her party was on Saturday. Yeah. And I just wanted to make sure that I got in to get my nails done, yeah. like, as late as possible, but not leave it too late. Um, I probably want to maintain as much length as possible. I only want to take a tiny bit off. Yeah, just tiny bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so it was like, oh, okay, because I knew the party was coming out. Mm. And then, of course, we do my mum's gardening last week. Yeah. And it rained. Yeah, oh, last week was yeah, bad weather. Yeah, the rain, yeah. So, yeah, we've got all the gravel coming tomorrow, and I'm like, oh, great. I'm getting my nails done. We've got gravel coming. You know, I want to kill the, ra the grass kill the grass yeah and i don't know what solution is the best i know i have to wait for three continued day Without sunny sweet, yeah. yeah no um, rain yeah it's because there is one pair like in the body up. yeah body corporate send someone and he's right along where the common area and next day i saw the grass completely die it's gone it usually, dry and it yellow usually takes a little while to to happen like my husband uses like Roundup or something. Yeah. Or, but it die? It completely die and not come yeah. back? Yeah, oh, most of the time, yeah. Oh. Like it dies, but then, you know, sometimes like you only need a bird to drop seeds. Oh, or, yeah. Because that's where it is in our place, right? Yeah. We've got possums. So, of course, the possum poop has seeds or oh, yeah. whatever in it. Yeah. And then, you know, if they poop somewhere on the garden. Yeah, or, yeah. Because out the back we've got like this tree with like red berries, yeah. like they're really small red berries. Yeah. And the bloody birds will eat that, then poop, and then we have like reedy purple poops all over our, yeah. <laughs> our deck. No, at Mama's so we um, have to set a couple of rat traps. She's got um, a rat under the house somewhere. So we're doing the, basically what we've done, like we've dug up all the gravel around the house yeah. and we have put down three quarters of like weed mat yeah. and we've got the other quarters to do tomorrow morning at seven o'clock yeah. and then at 9.30 the, um, the rock place are delivering the, yeah. um, what do you call it, the, some bark and some gravel. You know, at the back. So I was hoping not to be doing that yeah. after I've got my nails done, but. <laughs> you know, my back, yeah, during COVID, I did put a lot of small rock like this yeah. at the back. And I put the wee mat, but the grass is still growing. Yeah. So now I just talked to a person, she doing the fake lawn. Yep. So. She says you need to remove all the rock and then put the grass killer first and then we mark yeah. and then something. Yeah. And so then that's what it. we've done. So there was already gravel there but in a couple of spots um, there had been like mossy stuff growing. Yeah. So we've removed all of that and mm. gone down about this far mm. to the clay. Then my husband has sprayed it all. Yeah. And you have to wait for a couple of days to yep. come back and then, then we put the weed mat down. That's why it's taken so long, because the weather last week was so bad. Yeah, keep and, rain. Yeah, and it was like, damn it. Because we I was basically hoping to finish it yesterday. Yeah. So that that way I can get my nails done, you know, wash my head, all yeah. that kind of stuff for Saturday. But now I'm going to be... I've just tied my hair up because mm. I'm like, there's no point washing it yeah. when I need to do it Friday night anyway, for Saturday, so I'll say, uh, Where's the party? Um, it's at Yarra Glen, which yes. is, if you know where Yarra Glen is, um, out past the litter towards Yay. Yeah. 
So yeah, it's at like a bowls club. So yeah, it was That's your husband's niece, yeah? The husband's niece, yeah. yeah. So it's a, it's been a busy year this year because my nephew turned, so her brother turned 21 this year. Yeah. And she's turning 18. Wow. <laughs> so big birthdays. Yeah. No, we've got her um, the same as what we've got him for his birth, for his 18th. We've got her, um, uh, what do you call it, fuel vouchers. Yeah. She'll, she's going for her license the yeah. one day after her party. Oh. Because so, her actual birthday is tomorrow. Yeah. You mean like driving test? Wow. Yeah. So she's already got a car. So. Oh, lucky, huh? So what happened was when my nephew bought a car, yeah. he um, thought that when he turned 18, yeah. like because he'd been playing footy, yeah. um, like getting paid to play football. And oh, getting paid. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So like um, when he plays for his home team, which is um, Montrose, he yeah. gets paid. Oh, yeah. And then he was also working at like the IGA. Yeah. So he saved up and bought himself a car. Yep. But now he's upgraded, like about six months ago, he wanted to get a different car. Yeah. And so my, the niece, his sister, bought yep. it from him. Oh. So she bought it from him and she, like, she works at, she was working at the IGA yep. in Yarra Glen and yep. now she's working at Bunnings. It's like she's finishing school. Yep next month yeah. but she wants to join the police force and she can't do that till she turns 21 oh. so in the meantime oh, the police, you have to be yeah 21 I think for the area she wants to get into I'm not sure exactly but yeah you've got to be 21 so she is going to uh, work at Bunnings until then 21 yeah. yep so she'll work at Bunnings or wherever for three years yeah. And the nephew, he plays VFL, so he gets paid to play VFL football. Yep. And he also works at the farm. Wow. With grandpa. Yeah. So. Very um, hard work. Yeah. Keep. Yeah, when Glenn, my husband, worked up there during COVID and was keeping an eye on his dad because his dad hadn't been well at that stage. Oh. He'd had a heart, um, what do you call it? Um, well, they put a stent in his heart. So he was working up there for a little while. And he um, <coughs> lost a lot of weight working up there. <laughs> but no, it's a lot of hard work for the nephew. But in saying that, he loves that because he's got his own herd of cows as well that he yeah. has on another property. Yeah. But it means too that when he's got football practice and he needs to be there at five o'clock or whatever time they're yeah. starting, he can leave. Yeah. Um, he just starts work earlier. Time are you finishing tonight? Seven. Is that what time you're open to? Uh, yeah. yeah. Nine to seven. Yeah. So with Ethan, that's tonight. Do you have to drop him off? Um, no, because I'm work here. Yeah. So I have already booked in order why I take one hour off. Yeah. And I want to drop him there to say goodbye to him. But 
it's already booked in there so I can't change it. Yeah. His dad gonna do that to yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, it's only one more. Yeah. So next, so what year is he in now? Grade two. Grade two. So yeah. in grade three they go away on camp. How long yeah. do they go on three camp? Nine. Three nights. Yeah. yeah, I remember going to camp. We went to some place down near the beach but we didn't go to the beach or anything it was like a an actual holiday yeah they had two yeah. places one if you leave islands yep. and the other one i don't know but it's like alternative each year yeah so one year if you leave island the other the next year in different places oh okay so i i think this year they already done Phoenix island you know today he um, he has the footy day, so oh, it's yeah. so cute. All the children they uh, dress all the footy, yeah. like all colorful. You know the girl very cute. She dress Richmond team, in the socks it yeah. like brown and yellow, yeah. and she wear the hat <laughs> and make the hair. It looks so yeah. cute. Yeah. yeah, well my team still in the football, so we went couple of weeks ago yeah. and we've got this week off because we already made it through to the next level yeah so we already had to go on and register that we want grand final tickets if our team makes it yeah so because we're members we've got priority yeah. so we had certain time on Wednesday we had between 8 and 12 o'clock to register that we like if we get through that we want grand yeah. final tickets what right. color is red and black? What team? Essendon. 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 My son wear Essendon today. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, so I'm a Collingwood member, so we're black and white. Yeah, his dad, um, my ex is Collingwood yeah. for long time. <laughs> and this morning I asked my son, okay, so now we have a head of Collingwood and a top of like Essendon, good one he won and he picks Essendon. <laughs> <laughs> His dad should have been saying no, no, no. <laughs> but no, it's so, were very good. Yep, so they we're, win all the time. So we're know. still in it. Yep, so, that's good. So we're going to win next week and the week after. So, yeah, but it's kind of weird because you've got to go onto Ticket Tech, register you want tickets if your team gets yeah. through. And you're, the only options you've got is you'll take any ticket or oh, you'll yeah. take any ticket except standing. Oh. So I always say anything except standing because I'm not going to stand there for, for hours. No. no. Yeah. So I said that, like, you've got to make it to the grand final first. Um, so, yep, yeah, I thought, oh, yep, yeah, that's fine. Um, I got on and yeah, it only took five minutes to get through because you're just registering if they're not selecting seats or anything. Yeah. But that's the thing though, you do that, but then when your team gets in the grand final, yeah. you basically just get allocated tickets. Oh. You don't get a say where. Yep. Which, okay, but the problem there is you don't know what level ticket you're gonna get. Oh, so yeah. you could get like say eight is the lowest yeah. and it might cost you hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah. Well the problem with that is yeah. you might get level one or you know Clone seven, yeah. and it's four hundred and something dollars to oh. get. Which, you know, like you know that's fine. But for yeah. a lot of people it wouldn't be. They don't want to spend. Yeah, but you, you don't pay? get a choice. Mm. That's what you get allocated. So we'll just have to. Itch. Itch. <laughs> Must have been a bit of a fluff or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll wait and see. We've got to get to the grand final first. So, what team is already in now? So, at the moment, yeah. Collingwood and Brisbane both won last week. So okay. we're on hold at the moment. This week, Carlton plays Melbourne. Yeah. The win, the loser's out. The loser's gone. Yeah. The winner plays Brisbane. Okay. Next week. 
so at the moment Collingwood and Carlton in and then this week is Sydney yeah, so Collingwood and Brisbane yeah and go through we're in the next round okay this week together. Carlton plays Melbourne yeah whoever wins will play Brisbane oh, next yeah. week okay and then the other match this week is Port Adelaide yeah. and GWS oh, okay. whoever wins Win. that plays Collingwood oh and the I winner of now. both of those and gets the grand Jane, final yeah. Wow, it's getting close. It is. Because we've got friends coming over that weekend, which um, there were supposed to be six of them. Yeah. But unfortunately now there's only two. Mm -hmm. So there's only going to be four of us. Yeah. <coughs> you okay? Mm. So yeah, it was um, unfortunate, like one couple, they both work in wineries in South Australia and unfortunately... Is, is it the one you go out with? Yeah. That they doing a lot? Yes. The ones that they go away with <laughs> yeah. in March. Yes, <laughs> yeah. to Rope. Yes. So they um, both work at a winery and it's just been bought by new owners so they have to work. Yeah. Another couple, her son is in San Francisco. Yeah. He lives in San Francisco with his wife and two, two little girls. Um, him and her, they're both um, ballet dancers. Oh, wow. So she, she does some sort of choreography and runs a sort of her own business. Oh. And he is the main dancer at the San Francisco Ballet. Yeah. So... Unfortunately, they're both going on tour at the same time, so they needed someone to look after their daughter. Yeah. So they can the lady again. here, being a grandma, has said she'd go over and look after them. You okay? Yeah. Itchy. Oh. I don't know. I think I. So I probably wiped blue stuff all over my face. No. No. Just a little bit of the nose. No, something there, but I can't. Oh. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> mm, tap, tap. Just don't want to ruin anything. Yeah. Here. Is it Still? gone? No, it's a little bit. You need water on it, I think. Hang on, I'll just use the other bit of sushi. <laughs> I'll do the mother thing. They can put zero dry and then they dry, you can use that thing. Yeah, okay. Sorry, anyway, I don't know what's going on there. I must have snipped something. <laughs> as long as I don't ruin the nails, that's all that matters. <laughs> Helping with your auntie everything okay so this in um yeah they're still paying out and doing all that so oh yeah like a long time oh yeah well they've got to wait six months oh. in case anyone protests the will yeah so she passed away not nearly a year uh yeah february wow You know, um, there's one lady, she like 72. Mm -hmm. She walk every day, 5K. She walk around, she lived mm. near here, and suddenly she came in. She couldn't walk anymore oh. and need the care with her. Oh. And today she came, she looked really, really bad. Oh. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah. You know, when old people, when you look they okay but suddenly it just they just look yeah it's a bit like my mum she's sort of gone downhill a little bit like she she's put on a bit of weight and, and she's been unwell and mm. she sort of doesn't 
move around as much. Mm. When you stop moving around, it's no good. But yeah, but she also said, oh, you know, it's like it, it's because. How old your mum? Seventy-six. Mm. It's not too young, but not too old. I mean, like it's yeah. When you get to nearly eighty, and then yeah, so she's she just oh, actually, I've just aged her a year. She's seventy-five. Yeah. Oh, seventy-five. And your sister oversee um in her yeah, yeah she's good she's back this month she's at back at the moment she stayed down at our holiday place um the last couple of days with her boyfriend yeah. so yeah she's back until the first of october yeah. and so i'll try and catch up with her a couple of times before she goes back yeah. um she's Going back this time to Broome is where she'll be doing stuff. So last time I think she was in Port Hedland and then she was in Perth for a week. Yeah. yeah. So, but no, she's been doing lots of um, like they're always training and studying and doing yeah. courses and stuff because yeah, just all their knowledge they've got to have. Yeah. She likes it. She enjoys it. Yeah, she does. So that's good. Like it's tiring, like she works yeah. long hours. Because that's the thing, if, say she finishes at 6 o'clock, they might get a call out at 4 o'clock, but then she might be out there for 4 or 5 hours. Yeah. Well, so, depending yeah. on what happening. Oca yeah, and occasionally they have to stay overnight somewhere. Wow. Because the pilot's only allowed to do a certain number of hours yeah. of flying. So it just depends because they, yeah. they had one the other day where they had, could the normal hospital couldn't deal with what was wrong. Yeah. Like, um, so they had to go to a special. I think it was um, a baby actually, and they had oh. to, so they had to go to Perth. So yeah, ja but Jackie in Perth was going to the the hospital there, and she did um, a couple of days there yeah. in the paediatrics area. Yeah. Because you know how they have those cot things that are like a humi crib? Oh. So yeah, she had to go and do some learning on those so that she could do rescues to do with that. Yeah. So yeah, she enjoys it. The only part she doesn't like is just not being home. Yeah, of course. Because of her... So her boyfriend, yeah, he works at Marinda as a nurse. Yep. He got assaulted two weeks ago. So like what the... he got kicked in the face by a patient. Oh. So he was there. He was doing handover. So you know yeah. how like in emergency yeah, I know. you've got the rooms sort of open yep. at one end. Yeah. So that he was doing handover with a couple of the other nurses in the yeah. morning. Yeah. But they had this guy that came in the night before and he was like, Oh, you taking taken all these drugs. Yeah, yeah. And was like, Oh, you know, about his girlfriend, he'd broken up with his girlfriend and whatever. Yeah. So anyway, they calmed him down and you know, they end up um, tying him to the bed. Because he, yeah, because he had a had to be psychiatric assessed, yeah. and they sort of said, look, you know, you need they need to restrain him. Yeah. So about seven o'clock in the morning, he needed to go to the toilet. So they let him up. He went to the toilet. I think they'd taken the restraints off a couple of hours yeah. before that because you know he was fine by then. He'd, he'd calmed down. Yeah. Um, anyway, he came back from the toilet yeah. and he said, oh, well, I'm going. And they said, no, you can't. Yeah. You've been psychiatric assessed, so you can't walk out. out. It wasn't voluntary. Yeah. You know. um, and then they so, tried to yeah, stop so, him. So they, they said to him, you know, you've got to stop. So the two security guards put him on the, on the bed and he was kicking and everything. And so they called a code grey or whatever. Yeah, code grey, yeah. Yep, and... My sister's boyfriend and a couple of nurses there. So he went in, he restrained one of his legs. The other nurse, yeah. she went to grab his other leg 
but he kicked free. She didn't have hold of it pro properly, and it came up and kicked the boyfriend in the face. So there was blood everywhere. So he, he he doesn't remember. He just remembers the impact, and then it sort of went dark, oh. and he sort of fell to his knees. Too strong, too. Yeah. Yeah. Fell to his knees. Then. <coughs> um, sort of hit the ground and then he heard one of the nurses scream grab him and he just assumed hearing that that they were talking about the guy but they were actually talking about him yeah. because next thing you know then he sort of fell onto his all fours and there was just Ooh. blood everywhere my god and um he it's really bad yeah so no, he kicked very yeah, yeah like kicked him like right right the yes, like, and yeah there was blood everywhere and um so they automatically attended to him and the cops got called yeah. and the cops came but because the security guards like there's the cameras in the hallway so yeah. they could see what he was like when he came in but um, they asked for him to be psychiatric assessed but because he didn't have you know schizophrenia or any psychiatric disorder mm -hmm. he wasn't um, deemed to be psychiatric yeah. And he'd had enough time for, it, for the um, drugs to get out of his system. Oh. So they, he couldn't claim that, you know, yeah. was, you know. So the cops arrested him and took him away. And Jackie's boyfriend had to go in for surgery a couple of hours later. Oh. Because the, oh, something to do with the nasal yeah. thing had yeah. gone back and he was getting air into his eye yeah. socket or something yeah. so yeah he went in and he actually like it's two and a half weeks later now he actually doesn't look too bad yeah. he had like black eyes and stuff and his nose was split open or well, you know like a bit sort of cut because the yeah. bone the bone had come out of his nose like oh up God. here but he actually he, i saw him what saturday yeah. he looked fine yeah. but yeah the hospital Scary, yeah, yeah. And of course, you know, as he said, he goes, I'd rather it happen to me than one of the ladies the that lady, he works yeah. with. But, you know, he said it's just, that's what it's like in emergency these days. You know, just the sort of people that you get going in there. Yeah. So... But yeah, luckily he'll be okay. He's still got some floaty bits in his sight. Yeah. The, hope, the doctor said he thinks they'll probably just decrease over time. Yeah. Is what they're hoping. But be back yeah. to work? Yeah. Um, they said about taking more time off, but he said no, nah, we'll go back to work. So yeah, I think the first, he, this week was his first week, but he was going to work in... Um, was it um, a different area, not an emergency, in case, in case he got kicked got again. again. <laughs> yeah, so he can't go back to emergency for another two weeks. Yeah. And he's got this brace thing that he's got to wear if he's having trouble breathing and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it was a bit scary. Like, so Jackie was a bit upset because obviously, you know, she couldn't be there. Yeah. It happened. Of course, it happened in the month that she was away. Mm. But that can't be helped. I know. They've been together. No, a about long. three years. Is her yeah. previous boyfriend she'd been with for about 10 years? Oh, long time, so, long time. Yeah. Why they break up? Um, he wasn't very nice to her. Oh, okay. It, how do I say? He was one of those guys that took thing about him, so um, he never cared yes, about you. Yeah. Yes, a lot of people, yeah, like we're that. very, you know, like, he used to go to work. But yeah. then he'd spend his money on cigarettes and alcohol yeah. and didn't take her, like his idea of a night out or, you know, yeah. regular night was like pizza at home, which 
that's fine. Yeah. But they never went anywhere and anything she was interested in, he yeah. was like, oh no, you know, he didn't want to do that or whatever. Yeah. So she did a lot of stuff yeah. by herself. But also too, he just, like I say, he, it was like she was his, his mate, like, you know, oh yeah, well, you know, we want to go down the pool or whatever with his mates, but then he expected her to stay home. Oh, not, she not going with him. But then if she did go out, he'd be weird about it. Oh. So yeah, anyway, um, we were kind of glad when she broke up with him. Yeah. It was a bit of a, it was a bit of a know-it-all. Thought he knew everything, but, <laughs> but he didn't really have anything to back it up. Do you know oh, what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, he worked a job nine to five, Monday, Friday, when he wasn't there. He was either with his dad or at the pub. Yeah. So it's not like he experienced life and actually knew about the things that he did. Yeah. But he just made her feel bad. So because he worked, like, he worked in, like, a printing factory, he, whenever my sister did anything good, he just made her feel bad about it. Oh. So, you know, she got a promotion at work. Yeah. And he'd be like, oh, so you're too good now, and make negative comments instead of celebrating it. And yeah. it was like, oh. Whereas the current boyfriend, like she's what? The current boyfriend, like he's a nurse, yeah. but he's solely a nurse. Yeah. Whereas, you know, my sister's a nurse, a midwife. Yeah. You know, and what was the other thing she's done? Oh, yeah, the emergency nursing. But also, you know, like all this rescue stuff. But it's yeah. a, you know, he's proud of her. So that's what's really nice. Like he's proud of her, whereas the other guy was. Taking on, yeah. yeah. Just tried to make her feel bad about not being there for him. If he, if, like if she was working night shift or something, it'd be like, oh, well, I thought we could have done something. And it's like, yeah, what were you going to do? Sit on the couch and eat pizza? Oh, yeah. Like he just, he never took her anywhere. And when they did go somewhere, they went somewhere for the over, she, she has to walk on it and she paid for it. And, oh, and like, like, you know, you don't expect him to pay for everything or yeah. anything you can like change. that. But there was never any thought. Yeah. It was like, well, why would you want to do that? So, yeah, he's, this guy's much better for her. But at the same time, like, obviously he's got, um, you know, a couple of kids. Yeah. Well, four kids, but two, only two live at home. Like, they're all... The youngest is 12 or 13, I think, but she lives with her mum. Yeah. And these boys are like 23, 21, and 17. Yeah. Can you wash your hands? Yep. Along that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's 
a bit of dry skin. Yeah. Yeah. But I've just, <laughs> I've just got to think. <laughs> yeah, because I, I went up there and I went, oh, am I allowed to? So I pushed, because some people obviously pushed the bottom bit until it was full of water. <laughs> It's just there. Yeah. <laughs> You can see where it is, but you can't, it's just not coming off. Yeah, yeah. because this is still wet and it's stuck. Because it's on your thumb, too. Yeah, yeah it's on my wrist. <laughs> Oh, it's going here. Yeah, normally it's glitter that <laughs> it does that. Just five minutes. I take the thing. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. They look fine. Yeah. Good. Just being careful not 